One thing about Hart from since I've known him, he's probably one of the most affable, likable people to be around. Regardless of your socioeconomic status, a very rare thing that he possesses is he genuine and sincere. That to me is what has always been Hart. He's still a character. He still has the stories. He's still making new stories. But at the end of the day, he's as good as a friend as you could ever find. I don't know how I'd describe him to somebody other than he's just a huge personality. He remembers every conversation he's ever had. Every detail of every hunt. I mean, he was hardcore turkey before a lot of us understood it. He's a pretty, uh, you meet him, you don't forget it type of guy. Eat slap up with turkey hunting more than anybody I know, really. He just, he hunts every turkey like it's his last one. You know, growing up in South Carolina and growing up where I grew up and where Jason grew up, you either, you love it and you breathe it and live it or you don't. My name is Jason Hart. I'm the co-founder slash general manager of the Nomad brand. Nobody had ever taken me turkey hunting. Everything I learned was on VHS tapes and reading magazines. And as a kid, I was like a sponge reading everything I could. And there was a TV show called The Outdoor Trail. The host was a guy named Wayne Pearson, but he had Jim Crumley on there often and Dick Kirby often. I just thought that was super cool. They were wearing tree bark camouflage and running Quaker Boy calls. And that spring, crazy enough, I called up two turkeys that done everything I'd learned in the videos and read in magazines and books. And two long beards walked right in. And at the time in South Carolina, you legally killed two in one shot. And somehow I pulled the trigger and these turkeys dropped and changed my life forever. His passion is, is turkey hunting. Um, sacrifices, wow. I don't know if it's a sacrifice for him because he loves it so much, man. That's just who he is. He's, a, he's on the road he, and, and you build that lifestyle and it's not a sacrifice for him, it's his way of life. And there's no other way to explain it. I mean, you just, you're eat up with it. It's a disease, it's an obsession. You hunt turkeys because you have to, not because you want to. And that's, that's all of Jason Hart. I don't know that Hart initially set out to kill 49. It made me think about, about life and morality. And uh, I said, you know what? We used to turkey hunt together. Before I die, I'm going to do it in every state. And that made me realize that life's short and I want to get it done. He wanted to complete it, you know, in part for himself, but also in part for, for Guthrie. Everybody around him supports him because they, they believe in him. They know what he is doing, and they understand what he's doing. I've seen the metamorphosis of Jason Hart. To see him grow and develop into who he is now is pretty amazing. Well, my buddy Guthrie, he, uh, you know, we worked for QDMA. He, uh, we both bought these Remingtons. When he passed away, his family gave it to me. When buddy Neil Hayes asked me what gun I was going to bring, you know, I thought about it. Then all of a sudden, it struck me that, man, I got Guthrie's gun sitting in the closet. Packing for this trip, I got it. And obviously, getting a little bit of emotional about it, but uh, kind of surreal. Went out to that turkey, it was a long shot. It was further than uh, I would have liked to admit. 
to Neil, uh, Neil Hayes said, man, I think there was a little help from above. And uh, I think there was. Go get him. Go get him. Go get him. Hurry. Stop him for <laughs> Go get him. So yeah, man, it's only fitting that uh that I got done with my, my late buddy's gun and uh I think it's a fitting tribute to him for a great man. Jason loved Guthrie, man. And killing your final bird with you know, one of your best friend's guns. That was an emotional for all of us. Words can't describe it. Uh, whatever words I put aren't sufficient right now, but I'll be talking about it for the rest of my life and have that story to tell forever. And yeah, I feel pretty good right now. Oh boy, you got it done. You have killed all the turkeys in all the 49. Proud of you, boy. You my horse if you never win another race. I didn't have any doubt in my mind you'd get it done when you started. And it's been a lot of fun to, uh, to kind of share in the journey and watch, uh, watch you do it. You're an incredible fella and your passion, your drive and your friendship are the world to me. This is a part of history and I'm just so excited that you accomplished this. Yeah, I just want to thank you since day one, since the first time we met, you've always been such a, a good friend to me and always been someone I looked up to. Being able to, to help you finish this out, and, you know, a lifelong dream of yours. And you've been able to do this with, with your buddy Shotgun. Um, you know, I just think it's, that's the coolest thing ever. Jason, I can't see where it how could happen to a better guy. And uh, I'm very, very happy for you, and, and, and you, you deserve everything coming your way. You know, God brought, brought you into my life, man. I wouldn't be trying this, you know, 49, if it wasn't for you. So proud that you did the, you know, the 49, but I think I'm prouder just the, the person that you are. You're more than a friend to me, you are a brother. And, you bring that out in everybody, man. Congratulations, man. You know, it's 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 all about the journey, and this journey's been fantastic. And now it's done, it's kind of like, well, what's next? A lot of people have asked me. And I'm not gonna give up turkey hunting by any means, but uh, but it's gonna it's gonna change the way I turkey hunt, and I think it's gonna do it for the better, meaning I'm gonna have opportunities to go hunting with friends, and I can take people that have never been hunting before. It's more about the the camaraderie and the fellowship than it is about the hunt.